Welcome back to Primetime Sports Sunday. Former West Indies fast bowler and noted cricket commentator Ian Bishop says no one should blame the three players who turned down the decision to tour England in July. Trinidad and Darren Bravo and the Guyanese pair of Shimron Hetmara and Kimo Paul rejected call-ups to the Windy's 14-man squad due to fears of contracting COVID-19 while in the UK. Well, I've been in a situation before during a World Cup that I played in where we decided not to go to Sri Lanka. So I understand what those players, I don't hold it against them either. You educate yourself, you read, you watch the news, you call people, you try to pick up as much information about the pandemic and its health effects in the, in the, in the UK, and you make a decision. Bishop, though, has credited the 25 players who will make the trip and expects them to adjust to the new conditions quickly before the start of the test series. The guys who are going are making a good decision. They're doing service to West Indies cricket. There are a number of people around cricket in general who need to get back to work, not just players, not just broadcasters, not just writers, cameramen, uh, BT engineers, a whole host of people. So that's a good thing. So I think the players, I think they'll cope with it. They'll adjust to it. It's unusual times. They need to get those practice matches going uh, as energetically as they can when they get to the UK after quarantine. And whoever gets out of the blocks the quickest, because everyone is literally coming in out of the cold for the last two and a half, three months, it is going to be important to fly out of the the Caribbean men are scheduled to arrive in England on Tuesday and travel to Old Trafford for three weeks of quarantining and training. Meanwhile, England Cricket Board's Director of Special Projects, Steve Elworthy, has also hailed the Windies players and staff who will take part in the three-match series while understanding the decision taken by the trio who are unwilling to make the trip. Elworthy says the series will be a huge stepping stone for the sport. Everybody was given the right to make their own decision, and, and they, you know, clearly they they're entitled, absolutely entitled to make their own decision. But yes, I, you know, I suppose I, I look at it glass half full. I look at it incredibly positive that we have a a West Indian squad of 25 players who are who are going to come out here and are going to compete in a in a Test match series against England. And um, I think that's uh, that's fantastic for the game. As I said, you know, there's a. It's incredibly challenging putting this all together, but at the same time, I think it can be hugely rewarding for the game because I think as a cricket family, we've all got to come together on this. This is not one element that's going to help us defeat this. We've all got to come together to make it work.